Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my first ever tutorial. My name is Nicholas Huggins. I'm a graphic designer and an illustrator. Today I'm going to show you all how to get this nice drop shadow on any text in Adobe Illustrator. So when I pretty much any time I create a new document in Illustrator, I usually open my layers panel, which is in window layers. And here we see I have three layers set up. The top layer would be this here, which is the text, which you see here in green. Middle layer would be the drop shadow. And the back layer, the bottom layer, sorry, will just be a background. So I'm going to start by just typing any word. The font I'm going to use is a font called Arizona, which you can download from for free on Font Squirrel. I'm just going to go ahead and type my own name here. And whoops, just realized I typed it in the background layer. So I'll just copy that and paste it into the text layer so that it's at the top. So I put this here. Go ahead and I'm just going to change the color to differentiate for you guys. So here we have the type written down in green and this will be in the top layer here so you're going to want to copy this which is edit copy or command C um, then go to the shadow layer and paste it into place in the exact same place that you copied it from which is keyboard shortcut command shift V or you can just go to the edit panel up there so Right now, this is copied in the exact same place. We're gonna convert that to a nice blue. So when you hide this layer, you see it's copied there in blue. Then you're gonna wanna paste it to copy the blue version and paste it. So Command V. So now we'll hide the text layer for now. And we'll just be dealing with this shadow layer. And I'm gonna just pretty much just run through how to create the shadow using these two lines of text. You're gonna to wanna to take the selection tool, which is V on the keyboard, select both, go to object up at the top here, blend, and then you wanna hit blend options. Once you open this blend options window, you'll have three options here. You're gonna to wanna to choose specified steps and then when choosing the amount of steps, you're going to want to choose a pretty high number. I'll show you what happens if you choose a low number. You put 5 in here. Hit OK. Object, Blend, Make. So this is what happens if you choose a low number. You get some, well, obviously not what you want, which is something like this. So make sure it's selected. Go back into Blend Options. And we're going to want to choose a high number. Some, I'll just go with 300. Hit OK, and we get this nice smooth drop shadow here. When we turn the text layer back on by clicking this, you see how, how it works. And keep in mind that when you do this, if you choose the direct selection tool or A on the keyboard, you can then move this bottom line of text anywhere to pretty much just get this shadow in any angle. So I think this is pretty pretty cool for me. So once you've done that, you could go ahead and lock the layer and just add a background. Go to a pink background here. And you see how nice this looks? Pretty easy, super editable, and pretty much you could use it for t-shirt designs, logo designs whatever. Um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to answering those questions. Or if you want me to do a tutorial on anything else, just also comment and I'll try to get to that as much as possible. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm going to try to post as much content and as much useful stuff as possible in the near future. Thanks again, guys.